Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be discussing about the survivorship curves and also the link of the PDF is available in the description box. So you can directly click on that link and uh, directly download the PDF. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let us see what is a survivorship curve. So here is the definition. The survivorship curve is a graph. So basically it is a graph that measures the proportion of individuals in a given species. So if it is measuring individuals in a given species that means it is considering a population that are alive at different ages. So basically it is telling us that at different ages how many people or how many individuals are alive of that population. So a survivor in the survivorship curve what happens is on the x-axis we basically or generally take the age of individuals and on the y-axis that is this one we will take number of individuals so we'll plot a graph between these two and we'll see at different ages how many individuals are alive for example if the graph is going like this so here we see that age here will be zero right here for example, let's take 50, right? Age limit of that in um, species is 50. So at zero age or at the birth, at the time of birth, there are very high number of individuals that are alive. Then it will drop gradually. The number of individuals at in at the age of 25 will be lesser and then there will be very less number of individuals at the age of 50 or no individuals at the age of 50. So from here we can see that at beginning there are more number of individuals then it is gradually decreasing. So basically they are gradually dying as the time is passing. This is what this kind of graph is representing. Also there are three types of curves the first one they are given um, direct names that is type 1 type 2 and type 3 we'll see these different types of uh, types what are the individuals or what are the species that can be counted in these types of curves and what type of curve do they show we'll see all of that right in the next slide so now let us see what is a type 1 curve. So here we are representing on the x-axis the age of individuals from 0 to 100. On the y-axis we are representing the number of individuals from 1 to 1000. Now we will see what kind of curve do we get in type 1. It is this kind of curve. So here we see that as the age in the early age the number of individuals is quite high then also in the middle age the number of individuals are also high but as we are moving towards the older age the number of individuals are declining at a very rapid rate that means they will die off as the older ages so individuals that have a high probability of surviving through early and middle life here we can see in the graph but have a rapid decline in the number of individuals surviving at late life that is at the older age the number of individuals are dying the probability of them dying is much more than in the middle or early age so the example of this kind of curves are v that is human beings now we will see the second type of curve so the type 2 curve is something like this i have mentioned it in the first slide as well and i have told you what does this mean it means that the number of individuals in the early age is very high that is the number of individuals that are born their probability of living is high then in the middle it is getting declined and also in the end it is getting declined so it is declining uh, like it is declining from the very start and also till the end so what does this mean that it is it has a constant mortality rate for the species through its entire life in the entire life it has a probability of dying right because of random chances of being killed or dying at all the stages of their life so they do not have a specific age at which they can die they can die of any time at any stage and they have a high random chances of being killed or dying the example of type two curve are the birds we have seen the birds that they in the early ages there are number of birds are more but they have a high chance of dying at any stage 
right we see that they are flying or some they are stuck with uh, some uh, wire or they are being killed due to some other things right there are so many natural ways in which they could be killed or in the due to the man made things they could be killed so they have a high chances of being killed at all the stages of their life now we'll move on to the type 3 curve so in the type 3 curve the kind of curve that we'll see is this kind of curve that is totally opposite to the type 1 curve so here we can understand and see that in the early age it has a high probability of dying and very few individuals will reach up to the adult age right so few individuals will live to adulthood and die as they get older because the greatest mortality for these individuals is experienced early in life in the early or middle age they will die off and they have a high probability of dying and hence very few individuals will move to the uh, adulthood right so the example of this type of curve is fish as we can uh, we have experienced or we have seen or we have read about fishes that there are a lot of eggs that are laid by the fish but very few fishes will survive till the end because they have a high mortality rate in the starting so these were the three types of curve i hope you have understood all three types of curves now in the end let us see some more examples of type 2 and type 3 curves so in type 2 there may also be included rodents and some of the turtle species and in type 3 we can include plants and marine larvae because in the starting there are many seeds but only few grow up to large trees or large plants otherwise in the case of rodents and uh, some of the turtle species what happens is the curve that they show is like this so they have a high chances of dying at any stage and they have uh, no fixed pattern or no fixed time when they'll die they can die accidentally or they can uh, be killed in some of the instances so that will happen with the type 2 animals and in the type 3 animals i have told you the examples that is plants and marine larvae so I hope you have understood all of the topics that is type 1, type 2 and type 3 curves. So do not forget to like the video if you have liked the content. Also share the video, video with your friends and comment in the comment section whatever is your feedback or any question that you want to ask. And you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't till now. So that is all for today. Thank you so much.